This is a folded example of the Miura Ori pattern. Uh, it is famous not just in origami, but in engineering as well. And it is useful because it is uh, contracting and expanding. It is an example of a uh, negative Poisson ratio material. So uh, there has been some interest in using this as a kind of meta material uh, w uh, for which you could tune its properties, in particular its compressibility properties. So the pure Miura Ori compresses like so, but you can introduce defects. I've introduced the defect here in this corner. And in the area of the defect, the paper uh, is distorted a bit and it changes the compressibility properties of this pattern as a material. So what happens if you introduce a number of, of these defects? What happens when you, when you flood this thing with defects? Um, and will it still fold up in the same way? So my research is centered on quantifying the effect of defects, how neighboring defects interact with each other, and at what point do you lose all long-range order in this material? Uh, so in, in order to do that, I related origami to an area of physics named statistical mechanics, and I considered each of the defects as an atom that, it can, that can interact with its neighbors. And um, with sufficient number of atoms interacting, you can uh, show that the Miraori has a phase transition, a point at which all of the long-range order in the material uh, vanishes.